All right, guys, so I'm going to show you guys some tricks on how to catch and find these big bass. It's that time of year um, when there's going to be a lot of big bass that are pulled up on the shore. And it should be pretty easy for a lot of people to catch the personal best this time of year. The technique that I've been using to catch this big bass is actually, I've made a video in it already. Click right here. It's going to take you to that video. It'll pause this video so you can go and watch that one before getting into this one. If you guys want to know the technique that I use to catch just about every single seven, eight, nine pounder I've caught this year is with this technique. But I'm gonna show you how to catch fish on lakes that you've never fished and how to, I don't wanna say eliminate some water, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to key in on some target areas so you're not wasting time roaming the lake trying to find fish that are not there. So let's get into this video. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys on maps. I've never fished Lake Ray Hubbard ever in my life. I'm going to literally show you where to go on that lake. It's, you can use this and apply this to anywhere in the country. And Cedar Creek Lake. So two different lakes I know nothing about. I'm going to show you where I would go on this lake, why I, would cho why I chose this area or these areas, and why they're going to be holding the bigger fish. I don't, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate going to a lake and just beating the bank fishing. You know, I'm going to go there and I'm going to be very effective and very precise on the areas that I'm going to that are going to be holding those bigger fish. There's a method behind the madness in everything you do in life and there's definitely one with fishing. Let's get into this. I'm going to show you guys right now. Okay, so right here you got a main lake point. Right here, I, I can already tell you that this is probably going to hold some big fish in this kind of area right here. Right there, you got a big flat that's right here. This big flat is gonna hold some fish, but probably not the fish that I'm looking at for. I wouldn't touch this entire bank. I wouldn't even go there, that's a waste of time, okay? Now the reason why this is a waste of time, there's, like, there's no reason for fish to really even be here. This is the kind of area right here. Moving a little bit farther up, this is the kind of area that I would like to key on. You see this creek channel that runs right here? That creek channel is kind of like a roadway for bass. And then you have deep water right here. You see that deep water? That's easy access for these bass. This entire shoreline would be a key area right here. I would key on on this kind of an area for sure. That, I guarantee you, is going to be holding some bass. Now if I zoom out and go north on the lake some more, you're going to find another area. That's probably going to be a key area that's going to stick out to you guys right off the bat. This area right here down to the left. This is for sure going to be a spawning area 100% because they're going to travel up this creek channel and they're just going to go straight to there and sit there. Big bass, they do not have a reason to go all the way up this creek channel. Why would they go up this creek channel if they can just stay right here? You know what I mean? See what I mean? Like this is a huge flat up here. Huge flat. Why would a big bass go from the southern end of the lake during spawning season, travel all the way up to the back end of this creek and not make a pit stop all along this whole way? You see what I'm saying? You know what? We're going to go here. We're just going to look at this. This is just a random creek channel arm, okay? Now, if you were to choose an area of this lake, of this creek channel arm to fish, which one would it be? Just take a sec, think about it. It sure as hell would not, or sure as would not be this side. I wouldn't even go to that side of, the, of that arm at all. There's no reason to. You know why? Because the creek channel runs on this side. Why would I go to this side where, you gotta think, remember, these creek channels are like roadways. They're gonna come, and I would key in on this area, and key in on this big flat back here. Wouldn't even mess with that. There's no need to mess with that. Okay, so before we get into this next portion, this next map, it's going to be a whole different type of lake. I'm hoping this is kind of helping you guys out some. It should kind of help you eliminate time on the water. That's very ideal. Take a, take a, take a quick look at this clip here I'm about to show you guys. It's from this past week. It's when you're going along a bank and you see an irregular feature on that bank. You really want to key in on it. I'll kind of explain more in this video and I'll let you guys see me catch the fish. I didn't weigh it. It's probably seven to nine pounds. It's a really good fish 
clearly a spawning female. So go ahead and check this out this video before we get into the next one. Oh man, there we go. Oh shoot, come on. Oh, this is a This is a good fish right here, boys. Oh yeah. Good healthy big fish. Oh yeah. Woo! Look at that. That's a big fish right there. Oh man. Spawning. Look at that. Look at the tail. Look at the tail on that thing. Look at this. It's a big fish right there, boys. Oh yeah. Don't have to long arm that thing. That thing is a toad. Okay, so I'm gonna go over real quick on why I chose this area. So you see this entire this shoreline right here, right? It all kind of looks the same, every bit of it, except for one key area, that right there. You see this right here, these two little areas? That is what you're looking for when you're going along a bank and you're like, you don't want to waste your time flipping over and over. Of course you're going to catch fish probably along the shoreline, but you do not want to waste your time if you can key in on areas that like this where the grass is nice and sparse. You see how it's kind of random? You pitch up in there or like that. I just pulled a big old spawning female out of this area right here. Okay, so I haven't even looked at this other map. I'm about to pull it out for you guys right now. We're gonna take a gander at it and I'm gonna help you guys. I'm, hope, I'm hoping this is kind of helping you guys out because now we're gonna take a look at this map and it'll help you key in on those areas again. This one's like, Hopefully this works. It's like one of those sticky magazines you don't want to open up. Okay, so now that I got this map done, after I show you guys real quick on this, I'm also going to tell you guys the kind of baits I would use on these areas. So, let's get into it. So if you're looking at this lake, this area is one that I would spend a very large amount of time in. I'll show you guys why. So you're looking at this right now. I'm going to slide this up for you guys. So you're looking at this lake. I mean, look at this. There is creek channels running just everywhere around this point. This is clearly one of the main lake points right there. Now, when you look into this main lake point, you see this creek channel that runs all the way around. You see that? Now, what's right next to that creek channel? A ginormous flat. You see that flat right there? So these bigger fish, what they're going to do is they're going to travel along these creek channels they're going to pull up to these flats. They're going to spawn all the way back up, all the way to here. You never know. Some big fish will spawn out and see this is 12 foot. They're going to, they might spawn out in this 12 foot of water. You never know. But most of them will spawn out between this 12 and this zero foot of water, like literally in inches of water. Big old bass will spawn up. It would key in because this area has this creek channel that runs in a ginormous flat and a bunch of little creek channels or coves, whatever you guys want to call them that run up in there. This is a very key area. That's going to be holding giant fish for sure. Okay, so I'll show you guys one more area that I think is probably going to be pretty productive. If you were to be looking at this giant map, uh, there's one side of the lake that I wouldn't even mess with would be this right up here. You see this big, just deep area? I wouldn't really even mess with that at all. I wouldn't mess with that. I would mess with this in a heartbeat though. You guys know why? Flats. Flats, just flats everywhere. Creek channel runs, flats, perfect time. I'd be there in the summer. This is like an all year round type area. I would definitely hit up, wouldn't touch this. This would be okay, maybe. You know, you might be able to Carolina rig this kind of an area and catch some really big bass because it's deeper water. You'd be able to pull up in the evening time. So in the summer, this is probably a really good area. This is, a, if, if I were to go beat the bank and I had to go and I didn't know a lake and I really just, I knew they were going to be up on the bank, it would be this kind of an area right here. Now for one, there's an island. So if there's an island here, that's probably going to tell me there's little red dots, there's probably brush or stumps or something all throughout here. So this is probably areas that I would, if I had to go beat the bank and go through a lipless crank or a square wheel crank, it would be in this kind of an area right here, for sure. Alright guys, so what I just showed you, you can utilize anywhere in the country, I promise you. 
I promise you guys will be able to use this in anywhere in the country. Bass act the same basically everywhere. Maybe up north might be a little bit different just because the water temp is different. But I'm telling you, they're going to relate to the same thing I just showed you basically everywhere in the country. It just depends on the time of year and water temp. That's very ideal. Right now, the water temp here in Texas is 67 degrees. So what I just showed you is exactly what's going on. They're pulling up onto the flats, onto the back of creek channels, and they're spawning. Now you got some that are post, pre, already spawn, every kind of deal right now, right now in Texas. You have fish all over the place. So you can catch a female pulling out, you can catch a female pulling in, you can catch all the males. It's just a feeding frenzy right now here in Texas. <clears throat> so the baits that I would use, of course, 100%, almost every single day of the year I have a Senko tied on my boat. If you guys don't know what a mojo rig is and you haven't seen this video, check it out right here. It's a phenomenal video, I think. It's a mojo rig. And then if you haven't seen it underwater, click this link. And do, I'm telling you, the mojo rig Senko is killer this time of year. And then also weightless Senko. You can, um, if, if the water is cold where you're at, throw a jerk bait. Jerk bait's always good. Cold water temps, lethargic fish. They'll come up and they'll smash it. A lot of the big females love just seeing that, that easy meal just kind of hanging out. If you find a fish on a bed, throw like a white tube of some sort, something white. For some reason, they can't resist. Once they nose down on it, it's game over. Just let it sit there. They'll, they'll suck it up and you'll be good. So I'm hoping this, kinda, this, this video really helps some of you guys out. It's not giving away any type of crazy secrets. I'm just telling you guys on how to save time on the water, eliminate those bad areas of water. Uh, I'm not giving away any crazy secrets here. I'm kind of just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just giving you guys some knowledge that I want to help you guys a, a, a fish more effectively. So if this video helped you out at all, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram. Snapchat, all that kind of good stuff. Lunkers TV on everything. If you guys like these t-shirts, these ones right here, I like them a lot. Check out my spreadsheet. I'll leave a link below and right here for about five seconds. I'll let it dangle it next to my face. Other than that, we got a video out every single day. That is my goal. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till next time, see y'all.